Welcome to Mr. Tricky's startup tutorial for Edmodo for students. Now Edmodo is a powerful web and mobile application platform tool that has a look and feel of a social networking site, sort of like Facebook. What's neat about uh, Edmodo is once students are signed up, um, teachers can post assignments, we can do little opinion polls, we can share uh, resources such as links to video math tutorials or anything like that and so it gets it becomes a platform that the teachers and students and parents can keep in touch and stay on top of everything what also makes Edmodo quite nice is it's uh, available as a mobile app as well too for for free either at uh, iTunes or at Google Play and what's nice about the mobile app is if you have a smartphone and you have logged on and created an account uh, whenever your teacher posts an assignment um, a notification will pop up on your phone and not only that you can also have access to any assignments will also be made available on your phone or also on the web so let's uh, walk through the step on how to um, sign up for an account if you go to uh, tricky.ca and here's my Edmodo tutorial page and I have links to three different pages instructional pages one for students parents and for teachers uh, we're doing the student one right now so let's go to that page and here's the student sign up page um, you don't need a, a an email account uh, and you, you don't even have to have a smartphone because you don't have to use uh, it as a mobile app but if you do choose to use it as a mobile app you have to sign up online as first so if, if at any point during the, the tutorial you want written instructions and you're online, you can just click on there and some written instructions come up. Um, we're watching the video tutorial right now. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to log on to Edmodo. And that's what the Edmodo page looks at. There's the address up at the top left there, edmodo.com. And we're going to sign in as a student. Once you've signed in, each time you go to the Edmodo page, just simply hit the login page and enter your information. But we're going to sign up for your free account. So I'm going to sign up as I'm a student. And I'm just going to put in a name, a fictional name. And it's going to ask for a group code. Now that group code is going to be provided by a teacher. Your teacher, in order for Edmodo to work, a teacher has to set up an account in a classroom. And then students can set up an account. Uh, and then they can join the classroom that the teachers already set up and then parents can join in uh, later on if they wish to as well too. So I've already created a fictional classroom and I'm going to enter that code in right now. Now this isn't the particular code that you will have but it's the one that I'm using for this demonstration. Okay and I'm going to create a username that uh, um, that I will always remember. Okay so I'm just going to go uh, Kevin Tricky and I don't oops it's already taken Kevin Tricky 2 and I'm not going to use an email but I am going to provide a password and I'm going to sign up for free okay now I'm already registered in Mr. Tricky's seventh grade group, and from here we've got a web page. This is going to be your home page. Uh, you can set up profiles. You can uh, do all sorts of things. I want to draw your attention to the bottom left here. This parent code. That parent code is going to be unique to you and your sign-in. So for this person, Kevin T, if uh, he wanted to uh, get his parents to sign on he would need to provide his parents with that particular code. Okay, if you, once you get signed up, I'm sure your teacher is going to walk you through all sorts of different things that you can do with Edmodo. It, like I said, it's a very powerful tool. Now that this person is signed up, they can actually now go on to Google Play and they can uh, download the mobile app as well too. Alright, have a good night.